<laughs> a cube. Everybody loves a cube. And hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. And this one is for um, selection bookmarks. Qual selection bookmarks, which is uh, found up here. Uh, sneak preview of another thing there. Um, Qual selection bookmarks, which is up here. Now, I've been doing CG for a million years and ooh, what was it? Maybe about five years ago, I stopped using Maya. And uh, one of the things I do actually miss from that is selection sets. And well, this, this basically does something quite similar to that, but in a, in a very Blender-esque way. And what is it? Well, you know that you can add things to collections, but collections can be a little confusing when you have multiple objects in multiple collections. It, it starts to get a, a bit of a mess. Um, also, I, I like to keep this a bit, a bit uh, simpler because sometimes we have massive scenes with thousands of bloody objects and numerous collections. Sometimes you just want a simple way of bookmarking selections. So, say for example, we, we just want to remember those two monkeys later because we have a billion other things in the scene. So, add. So now we have a bookmark. Uh, let's call these two back monkeys. There we go. And so you continue doing whatever you're doing. And then later on, you need to select those again. But those two monkeys are selected. Um, you can, say, add a third one with a plus, And it adds that one to the selection. So now you can select those three. Um, just the cube, maybe. Just to add that. Let's add cube. <laughs> All right. So again, you can just quickly select anything that you've um, bookmarked to be selected later. Uh, this this will sound relatively boring, doesn't it? But it does get useful, believe me. Um, in those two, maybe you just want the diagonal ones uh, later. You regret having this one as part of the selection, so you can remove him from there. And obviously, now it just selects those two instead. Um, now the the thing is, collections can't take care of other selections types and that's where things really come into play because um say for example you want to do just some work on the the eyeballs and you find yourself doing this repeatedly making um these selections again and again and again so it would be nice to be able to remember that as a selection so add another bookmark and we call this one um, eyeballs. And those are the eyeballs just for this Suzanne in the foreground. So whatever you're doing over here, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you want to go back to that, um, click and it goes into edit mode because you had faces and selects those faces directly. And as before, we can add other things to that selection or not. Ob obvious. It, it, it does what it says on the tin. It, it really should behave exactly as you expect it to. This works for vertices as well. Uh, let's go into vertex selection. Uh, so maybe you just want those two of this Suzanne over here. Add a bookmark for those because I'm going to be editing those later. Um, ear bits. All right. Now, as you can t see here, what we have is an identifier for what kind of selections those are as well. So it remembers that when you made that selection here, it was two objects. So it goes into object mode and selects those two objects. So you don't have to uh, really think about what you were doing at the time. You don't really have to think about whether you're in object mode or edit mode or blah, blah, blah. It, it takes it there for you. Um, and it this, as you can see, is a point, a vertex, these are faces, these are objects. If you're familiar with the annotations for Blender, you, you'll recognize those directly. But it does remember what kind of things were selected at the time. Um, you cannot, for example, add this Suzanne object to a vertex selection. So those are, those are automatically uh, blanked out for you, but you can add it to another object selection bookmark um, if however you wanted to uh, let's say add more faces to this one to the eyeball selection for whatever reason that would be you can add it there 
and now for example you can select and that is one of the last major keys of this add-on is you can do it on many multiple objects it remembers what objects you had selected what faces or components you had selected and it retains all of that information for you um hopefully it's intuitive and, and easy enough to, to use can't think why not and um, do you know what i'm gonna stop babbling now um this is available on the blender market uh, blah 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 and also free if you've bought um my collection the qual tools full collection if ever you've bought that um, as you'll know, I keep on adding add-ons to that for free, um, forever. Um, and that's it, I think. Do you know what? I'm going to stop before I babble any further. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, and bye-bye uh, for now.